Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today's video is such an exciting one and I'm so excited to film it. Um, so as you might be able to tell, I am actually in a different location. Um, I'm actually at my wedding venue because we are getting married in three days time. We arrived yesterday and we're just having a couple days of just like relaxing and organizing some bits and bobs before the big day. So I really wanted to do this video because over the last sort of year or so, I would say I've been sort of collecting bits and bobs for the wedding and we are having an abroad wedding. So, you know, I couldn't buy loads of stuff to bring over but I still have definitely bought a few bits and bobs here and there. I bought like a whole separate suitcase full of just wedding stuff uh, and I was literally praying that it didn't get lost or anything <laughs> but it didn't, it's here. So I basically just wanted to show you the things that I have bought uh, for our wedding because I know there's a lot of people getting married at the minute which is so exciting and I just thought this might be helpful for fellow brides-to-be or you know bridesmaids or just anyone else that has an interest in things like this. So where do we start? Mm, what do I start with? Okay first I'm going to start with what I've just got like right here next to me. So as I said, we are having an abroad wedding. So obviously that means it's gonna be hot. Uh, check the weather forecast, it's sunny, whoop. <laughs> um, so it means it's gonna be hot. So I got these fans from Etsy to put on all of our guest seats for the ceremony. Our ceremony isn't overly long, it's only about 20 minutes or so, um, but it's not in a very shaded spot. So I thought that these would be really, really helpful. So if I go in a little bit closer, hopefully that will focus. So as you can see there, it just says Ruby and Sam and then our date. And they basically are just like little wooden white fans. <laughs> and I just thought they were going to be so, so nice for guests to be able to fan themselves during the ceremony. And then they can take them with them and use them throughout the day if they feel like they need to. We are having a later ceremony. It doesn't start till 4.30 because of the heat. But um, yeah, I just thought they were like nice little favours almost. And we're not doing like favours on the dinner table. So I thought that would be like a nice favor. So I literally just picked these up from Etsy and I would obviously link absolutely everything that I can down below, but they're really, really good quality and I just think they're really, really pretty as well. And they'll look cute in pictures as well. So next up, our wedding venue is a hotel. Uh, it's a very small hotel. Um, and as part of like the wedding package, you kind of hire out the whole thing. So you get all the rooms as well. So we have our guests, well, some of our guests, like our nearest and dearest and our bridal party and stuff like that all staying in the hotel for the weekend, which is so, so nice. And I'm so excited for everyone to arrive. So I put these together for the rooms. So we actually had these at my Hendu, um, but these are oh shit kits. And they're basically like little hangover kind of recovery kits or, you know, if anything goes wrong, especially where it's a broad wedding, you know, you don't have access to all your kind of little bits and bobs, like, I don't know, your like medicine cabinet or anything like that. So I just thought I'd put this together. So as I said, it says oh shit kit and then it says Ruby and Sam's wedding on it. And then I will show you what I put inside. So this is what it looks like inside. So I'm just going to leave these on the guest bed. But first up, I picked up these little eye masks. I just thought these would be really, really good like on the morning of the wedding when people are getting ready or the following day if their eyes are really like puffy and tired. These are just from Amazon and I got them in like a package. So it was like really reasonable. So I pick those up. <clears throat> Next up we have these. These are vitamin C little kind of pouches, like a food supplement. And you put them in your water and they're kind of boost your immune system, your energy, everything like that. They're from your Zuki. Uh, and I just thought they were just like a nice little thing, you know, the next day on a hangover when everyone's been drinking and tired, I thought these would be a really, really nice pick me up and they're nice and small as well. So they fit in really nicely. They do other flavors too. There's like orange ones. Um, I can't remember the other flavors, but yeah, so it's like a little vitamin C kind of boost there. And then I included some polos just because I feel like mints are a bit of an essential, you know, keep the brush, the brush fresh. How did I even say that? The fresh, wait, <laughs> keep the breath fresh. There we go. So yeah, some polos, some plasters, an essential, just two normal plasters. And then I popped a blister plaster in there too. Some paracetamol, you literally can't go wrong. Obviously everybody would you know, need that the following day, probably if they're hungover. And then I also included one of these. So these are the Shout Wipe and Go kind of stain removing wipes. And basically if you get a stain, they are meant to just remove it. Um, and I just felt like that was gonna be so, so useful for people. Even if they pop that in their bag for the wedding or something like that, you know, if they spill something, 
then they have a little stain remover wipe. And then I got this. So this was from Etsy and it says only if you're happy tears, Ruby and Sam, 4th of June, which is our wedding day. Um, and then inside is some tissues. I just thought this was nice for people to pop in their bags before the wedding and take it with them to the ceremony if they are criers, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I got them. And then I did up these little sweet bags because I just felt like this would be a nice little touch. So this one says his favorite, see if I can get that to focus. Uh, and it's got Sam's favorite sweets in, which are rhubarb and custard, um, not like the traditional version. And then this one says her favorite. And this has, is that focusing? There we go. This has little Harry Bow um, hearts in it. But yeah, so that is everything that was in the little kit. There's so many other things that you could put in there. Uh, I will leave like a link to like a little blog post and stuff that I found, but I think I kind of covered most bases there. So as I said, these are from Etsy, these are from Etsy. These were from Etsy and then everything else was Amazon um, or like boots and like things like that. So yeah, you'd probably be able to find them. I'm gonna repack this because this has to go to a guest. Okay, and then next up talking about sort of like guests and leaving little things for them. So I ummed and ahed for ages about doing a photo booth or whether to do disposable cameras. In the end, I went for disposable cameras just because I kind of feel like with photo booths, like they're so much fun, but they do kind of drag people away from the dance floor. And I, at a wedding, love everyone to just be on the dance floor. So yeah, I decided to do disposable cameras. I bought these ones off Etsy because I really liked that they were like quite like a vintage style. Let me open them up. <clears throat> yeah, so they look like this. So they're like almost like a vintage style camera uh, because we're gonna be leaving them on our table. So I just didn't want them to stand out too much. And I have got like a little tag that basically says like, because lots of people said to me, you know, people are gonna like take them away with them or, you know, they're not gonna use the flash properly and like all this stuff. So I've got this little tag that I need to wrap around them, which basically says, um, please like use these throughout the night, to, like snap away, um, but please remember to put the flash on and leave them on the tables afterwards. And then I'll get my wedding planner or coordinator to collect them all afterwards and then we'll get them developed. And who knows, they might not work, but I think it's worth a try. And um, I actually did use these on my Hendu and we got some really good pictures. So. Yeah, that is those ones. And as I said, I got them on Etsy. It is quite an expensive process to do. Like you have to obviously get them developed. I can't remember how much it was to get them developed now, um, but it is quite pricey, but it's definitely cheaper than doing a photo booth. <laughs> and I just felt like, I don't know, I really like these style of photos. So yeah, that's that one. So as I said, I'm going to be putting the oh shit kits in the rooms, but I'm also popping one of these in the room. So let me take it out of this little bag. So this is like a little welcome kind of notelet thing. And it says, welcome to the wedding of Ruby and Sam, 4th of June and like our venue and everything. And it has our little, let's see if I can get that to focus, our little wax seal on it. And then it basically opens up and and then it basically opens up and on this side we have a little message from Sam and I. And then we have like the itinerary on this side. So, you know, check in. And then on Friday we're doing like a nice dinner and then Saturday's the wedding and then Sunday we're doing a pool party. So it's got like all of that itinerary there. And then on this side, when that focuses, it has a big kind of map of the um, venue and like where everything's taking place. So like where the ceremony is taking place, where the dinner's taking place, everything like that. Um, and so, yeah, it just looks like that when it's folded and then there's kind of the map on the back um, and it has like a little map of um, Mallorca as well which I thought was really really cute. So these were made by the lady that did our stationery, her name's Jackie um, but she goes by Peonies and Paper Clips on Instagram but she is just incredible and she just got my vision for this so so perfectly and she did like all of these kind of illustrations and stuff which are just magical. So yeah I'm so excited to put these in the guest rooms and I just felt like this would save you know, loads of questions from people like, what time's this, what time's this? Like it's all on here, where it is on here, everything like that. So I'm hoping that's gonna save some questions, but it probably won't, but you know. So yeah, we had those done. And then I think I'll show you some other stationary bits while I'm here. So Jackie sent them in this really, really nice box. But stationary, I know for a lot of couples like stationary isn't something that they're really like kind of wanting to spend money on but for me I absolutely love it I always have done um I keep all of my like birthday Christmas cards like I always love choosing cards for people I keep everyone's wedding invites that they send me <laughs> so I just always love stationary anyway next up I wanted to do some little chair tags because I just felt like it was a nice thing to do for um 
you know, like the special people and like the bridal party and stuff, just to make sure that nobody sits in their seats um, so that they can get like a nice seat at the front and everything. Um, so Jackie again made these for us and I'll just show you it a little bit. Can you see? There we go. So this says, kindly note this seat is, is reserved and it says Maddie Stevens Bridesmaid. Um, and it's got our little wax stamp on it again. And then this ribbon is ribbon that we've used throughout our kind of like invitation suite. So it's really, really nice. The ribbon's just from Etsy. But yeah, I just thought that would be a nice little personal touch to pop on the seat. Okay, and then we just have a couple of signs here. So it's just, we're having a little ice cream car. So Jackie made this as well. And it just says, all you need is love and ice cream. A little bit cliche, but whatever. And then it's just got the flavors and then it's just got Ruby and Sam 4th of June, 2022. I could have probably got this made out here, but because Jackie was already doing like a lot of our stuff, I was like, we may as well just do those bits as well. And then these are our table numbers. So gotta be careful when I take this stuff out that I actually like put it all back on. <laughs> um, our table numbers are very simple. I just wanted to keep them nice and simple. Um, so they just look like this. I feel like the gold fork is quite hard to see, but yeah, it just says table number one and obviously just goes on like that. And then next up, we have our menus and our place names. So I decided to put the menus and the place names together just because I felt like, I don't know why I did that to be honest. I just felt like it would look like nice and neat on the table. Um, so Jackie again made these. And as you can see, we have the green ribbon. Um, we don't really have like a color theme for our wedding because it is kind of mostly white, like my bridesmaids are in white and stuff, but we do have um, like a lot of greenery, you know, like eucalyptus and kind of olives, like olive branches and stuff like that. So that's why we went for the green. So this is the menu here. And then it also has the little um, name tag attached to it. So it's on handmade paper, which I just absolutely adore. So yeah, there's our menu. And then there's a little ribbon and the little gold eyelet there. So I just thought that was really, really nice. So everybody obviously has one of those. By the way, this isn't like a gifted service or anything like that from Jackie. Like I fully was an absolute 100% paying customer, but I've just absolutely loved like what she's done for us. And she just got my vision so well. And I just want to shout about her basically. Oh, and then lastly, these are just a little camera tag that Jackie also did for us. Yeah, there we go. They just look like that. So I'm just going to pop them onto the cameras. And then I don't think I ever showed you this, but I brought it with us just for our photographers to take a little picture of. This was our save the date for the wedding. So yeah, it's on just handmade paper um, and it's got the little wax seal and yeah, just says like, save the date for the wedding of Ruby and Sam, basically. Um, I wasn't gonna send out save the dates, but basically um, in the job that Sam's in, um, the like all everyone in his industry only gets the month of June off. So dates go really, really quickly. Um, and I just wanted to like make sure that everyone was available, obviously. So that is why I sent them. Oh my God, I'm getting so hot filming this. Okay, next up, vows and readings. So I actually didn't get our vow books from Jackie just because she was struggling to get hold of the paper that I wanted. And I found someone on Etsy and she was like, definitely just buy them. Um, so first up, these are our readings. So we have two readings um, and I just popped them inside these little books just because I thought they'd look nice when they read them. Um, one of our first, one of our readings is Blessing of the Hands, which I'll link down below. And then this is um, another reading by Bo Taplin, who I love. Um, so yeah, they are our reading books and I just got them off Etsy. And then our vow books look very, very similar. Just open up to show you, but it literally just says, her vows and then it has the date. So yeah, hopefully you can see that again off Etsy from the same seller. And they came super quick because I literally ordered them like two days before we were due to leave. So <laughs> that was good. Oh, these are our invites. I don't know if I ever showed you guys these, but I brought them with me to show for our photographer to take pictures. Um, so they look like this and they just have this gorgeous like olive kind of branch drawing and like a vellum wrap and then they have the um the ribbon that i was showing you earlier and then i don't want to kind of pull it all apart because i kind of want to keep it nice for our photographer but this was our main invite there as you can see very much going on like the gold kind of theme but it just has like an illustration of the venue um and yeah and then inside the invite are like the other kind of information bits. 
Okay, so one last sign I also got from Etsy. Basically, I have flip-flops for everybody. Well, not everybody at all, literally nowhere near everybody. <laughs> Probably like a quarter of the guests. Um, our venue's super, super cobbled, and I just know that a lot of people are gonna find it difficult in heels, so I thought I'd get some flip-flops. So this just says a little treat for your dancing feet, and I'll pop that obviously by the flip-flops. And yeah, I just got that one from Etsy, but the quality is really, really good. I'm really impressed by that. Okay, next up, this is something that I am so excited about, and I haven't really shown anyone this. I've shown Sam, obviously, but I'm just so, so excited about this, and it came out so, so well. So basically, I really wanted to do something on the morning of the wedding, like just to kind of get people excited, and I don't know. I just saw this on Pinterest, because Pinterest is just like a wedding, a bride's dream. I saw this on Pinterest, and I just fell in love with it. So... It's this, um, and my idea of this is to either pop this on everyone's table in the morning before breakfast, so that it's like almost like your morning kind of paper, or slip it through everyone's doors in the morning. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. Obviously, I'm not gonna do this because I'm gonna be like getting ready, <laughs> but someone will do it for me. But I basically got the template from Etsy, and then I made it in Canva. Uh, so it's basically meant to kind of replicate a newspaper, and I've seen these on other websites, and I just felt like they didn't look as like nice and kind of like, I don't know, chic looking as this, if that makes sense. They, I don't know, I just, I just wasn't overly keen on the other ones. Anyway, so it literally just says wedding day post and it says like our venue and our name. And then I'm so glad that we got engagement, we did an engagement shoot because we used the pictures all here. Um, and then it just says like Ruby and Santa are not in Mallorca. Um, so our family and friends, we finally made it. We're beyond excited and grateful to be celebrating our wedding with you. Thank you for traveling near and far, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then, I mean, I don't really want to show you guys this too much because it's like got quite a lot of like personal details in here. But I'll try and show you what I can. So then on this side, I did like our story so far and it kind of goes through like every year and, and does kind of like a timeline of our relationship, which I just thought was quite cute. Um, so yeah, and then I included like pictures from when we were that age and stuff, which I thought was quite nice. Um, and then on the other side, I just like introduced the wedding party. So I've put, you know, our bridesmaids, our best men, groomsmen. And then I put like a little message and I basically popped the QR code. I can't really show you this because it's got like numbers and stuff on as well. Oh, I can't show you, but I popped a QR code um, on it for people to scan and they can upload their photos into like a Google Drive folder. Just because I felt like that was the best way to kind of um, collect everyone's photos. And then on the back, I have done, again, I'm covering up those just because it's some bit personal, but I've done a little um, crossword, which I just found on Google to make for me. Um, it's like a how well do you know? Oh yeah, sorry, the camera just cut out that bit. It's just like a how well do you know crossword. And that is the paper. So I'm so excited by that. And I just feel like it's going to be a really, really nice touch um, to either, like I said, pop into people's rooms or when they're having breakfast or something like that. Okay, next up, I also got this little ring box. I actually think I got this off Amazon. I can't remember, but I'll try and link it somewhere. It's like this olive green ring box. This is just for like some nice photos to pop our rings in and stuff like that. So next up, I picked up some beautiful jewelry pieces from the lovely Megan. So her company is called Megan Therese. Um, and she just does the most stunning pieces. She's based in Northern Ireland, and I feel like you can't really get these pieces um, unless you're in like Australia or America, but there's just not really things like this in the UK, so I was so excited to find her, uh, and she actually very, very kindly gifted me these pieces. But, okay, oh my God, they're just so, so nice. So first up, we have this gorgeous little kind of comb um, to tuck into like a bun or something like that. And it's just stunning. Like these little clay flowers. I don't know how well you can see that bit. They just have the most gorgeous clay flowers and these really, really delicate little pearls. So I just thought that was absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna be wearing that on the wedding day. And then I also have this beautiful kind of pearl um, headband or crown or whatever you want to call it. And this is for Friday night for the rehearsal dinner, I think. But I feel like I kind of want to wear it on Saturday too. So we'll see what I decide to do. I'll pop it in quickly for you. But it's just so kind of pretty and delicate. As you can see, it's so, so nice. And I love that she does all of her pieces on gold because I'm a gold girl. Like <laughs> all of my stuff is gold. So that's that um, and yeah it's just packaged so so beautifully in this little box here and then i also got some earrings oh and these match the little pearl kind of um comb so i don't know how well i'm gonna be able to show you these but these are the earrings so they're like these clay flowers 
and then they have this little pearl here so i've got earrings in at the minute but they're gonna just kind of hang like so so if you're looking for bridal jewelry i 100 percent recommend checking it out she has such beautiful pieces she hand makes them all herself as well so yeah so so nice so talking of jewelry i wanted to pick my bridesmaids up something special um for them to wear on the day but also for them to sort of have forever so I picked these little pearl earrings up from Majuri and I just thought they were super, super elegant and just so lovely. So yeah, I picked those up for the girls. Also for the girls, I picked them up a little robe for getting ready in the morning. These are from HA Designs, which is one of my lovely friends brands. Um, and they're just these beautiful kind of like beige color robes, satin robes. And I got them engraved, not engraved, sorry, <laughs> embroidered with their names on them there. So yeah, just thought that was really, really nice. And I'll, I don't know if I'll be able to insert pictures actually, because I might not have all my pictures back yet, but if I do have any, I'll pop a picture on screen. So weird that in like a couple days, they're going to be wearing these. Okay, next up, I'm kind of reluctant to show you guys this because I basically really regret it. <laughs> basically, I was looking for really nice, um little gift bags because obviously i have like these and i have the robes and stuff so i was looking for nice gift bags uh for my bridesmaids and other people and they just don't exist like in the uk like i'm sorry to say but some wedding stuff in the uk is quite like cheap looking and it's expensive so anyway i found these on etsy and i was so excited so as you can see, it has like the green ribbon, it has the gold um, wax seal, and then this one's for Sam's mum, so it just says mum, and then it says mother of the groom. I was so excited to get these, literally buzzing, like they just look like that when they're open, and I just thought they looked so, so lovely and smart. I didn't realise when I bought them, this is so stupid from me, but I didn't realise they were coming from America. So I was like, so when I realised they were coming from America, because the shipping said it was going to take like two months, I was like, what? um i was like oh i don't know what to do like i think i'll just leave them because i've ordered them now and i really liked them and i couldn't find any others so i just left it but then the customs charge was more than the bags were so if you're in america go for it but if you're not i probably wouldn't bother because they're just bags at the end of the day they're probably gonna get thrown away and yeah i probably wasted money on them but it is what it is so in terms of like presents and things, um, for my mum and Sam's mum, we bought them a Jo Malone perfume and we got it engraved um, and it says like our date and then it says like mother of the bride and mother of the groom. Uh, I can't show them because they're all really nicely wrapped up. But the reason I did that is because I wanted them to have like a scent that they associate the day with kind of thing. So I bought them scents that they don't wear, um, but ones that I really like and I thought that they would like. Um, and yeah, Jo Malone do this really, really lovely engraving service. I think it's an extra 10 pounds to engrave, but definitely worth it um and then for my dad i didn't know what to get my dad because he's very like he's not really into gifts he's not into like jewelry or anything like that um he doesn't really like i don't know he doesn't really like like cringy stuff or anything like that so i decided to get him a really really nice linen shirt too because he loves he loves clothes like, he loves fashion um and he loves like linen shirts and i just thought that if i get, get him that it will kind of like Every time he wears it, he'll remember that it was kind of for this day, if that makes sense. Um, and we're having a pool party on a Sunday and I feel like he'll want to wear it on a Sunday. Um, so I actually got that from Mr. Porter. Oh, I'm probably not going to be able to show you because it's all wrapped up. Yeah, it is. And I want to keep it wrapped up. But it's like this like olivey green linen shirt. And I also did the green because I thought it kind of goes with like the theme of the day and everything like that. So yeah, if anyone else is struggling with what to get their dad, because there was loads of like stuff online that was like, daddy, like... I've been your princess forever. And like me and my dad are just not like that. <laughs> so yeah, I just got him that. Sorry, those roosters are going wild. But yeah, anyway, there is one more thing. Um, I just picked these up for my mom and Sam's mom. Um, and it's just a little handkerchief. And it says, I got it embroidered with for your happy tears, RLS, and then the day on there. Uh, and I just thought it would be like a nice one. For them to have like my mum is such a crier so i have no doubt that she'll be using this um and yeah i just thought it was nicer than like tissues obviously i have tissues for the other guests but just thought it was a nice little keepsake and then they can just keep it afterwards obviously as well and they were from etsy as well so i literally just rinse etsy basically <laughs> which i feel like every bride is probably doing right now so i think that is everything i feel like there are kind of other things that i've kind of bought along the way mostly kind of jewelry stuff like i do have some other earrings um, that I'm gonna wear for later. Should I show you them? I'll show you them. 
here we go i just picked these up from not on the high street i am changing my dress um after the first dance because as you will soon see it's quite big <laughs> and i've got like a sparkly little dress and i wanted some nice sparkly earrings so i just picked these up from not on the high street um and yeah it was a bit of a last minute thing to be honest <laughs> so i think that is everything um so hopefully you found this video interesting or useful and it's given you some ideas um i probably should have put this disclaimer at the beginning but i just want to say obviously you know weddings are so expensive anyway and you really really don't have to be buying things like this to um, enjoy your day or have a good day but i just want to show you like the bits and bobs that i picked up um because it's what I wanted to do so yeah everyone's different everyone you know wants to celebrate their wedding in different ways and that's absolutely fine so I hope you enjoyed the video I'll link everything I can down below and I can't believe I will be married when I upload this video so weird but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye oh my god I'm so hot <laughs>